this spray paint inspired makeup tutorial i was inspired by this beautiful artist her name is all lane nicole i will go ahead and link her instagram down below because she's an amazing talented artist i was so inspired when i saw that photo and i really wanted to create a spray paint makeup illusion and i am really happy with how this has turned out so i hope you enjoy this one if you want to know how to create this look then just keep watching okay so i thought i'd start off the new year with a bang and start with a creative look because i love doing these and i haven't done one for a while so let's do one today i'm really in the creative mood today so i have seen the picture that i showed you already on instagram and that's what's inspired me to do today's look it is absolutely beautiful so i really wanted to create that today and i get to play with makeup again because it's been a while since i've sat down for all of my makeup and just played i love it so let's use this as a blank canvas and we're going to create some art on this face today i'm wearing a white t-shirt because I want my face to blend in with the canvas as much as I can get it so this is the whitest t-shirt I have <laughs> so I'm wearing this today first thing I'm doing is I'm taking some white face paint this one is just an art brush you can use any sort of brush you want an eyeliner brush anything that's small and detailed now depending on what side you want it to be then that's where you want to sketch it so I want to spray it on this side of the face because I'm going to hold it with my right hand here so from the looks of it she's gone around the whole of the eye around the whole nose and then brings it down to about three quarters of the lip it's easier if I do the eye first so I'm going around the eye doesn't matter if you mess up like here you can just reapply because this is white so it's fine Over the side of the lip, coming down, over the nose, and then tapers off to a point. It doesn't have to be exact the same as the photo. So I'm happy with that, that is where I want the placement to be for the makeup side and the outside edges is going to be in all white. So I'm taking like a buffing brush and with this I'm going to paint the, all of the outside edges in white. Now the trick with face paint is to do it in layers because the more layers you add the more opaque the white is going to be. So I'm just doing a thin wash first let that dry you have to let it dry properly because if you go over it while it's wet it will probably remove the face paint that you just applied so you want to leave that to dry and let it dry properly so i'm just doing a thin wash going over my eyebrows as well you will need to do a few coats because i want this to be really really opaque depending on what paint you have you might have a more pigmented white than me so it really does depend on what you have. It's gonna look strange at first until we start adding the little details in. I'm gonna leave this to dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with a second coat. I'm gonna take my finger with a drop of water and I'm just gonna re erase that line that we made on the inside with the white. And once it's starting to dry, you can go over and stipple it on with a second coat. Next I'm going to take some translucent powder and this is just the RCMA translucent one and I'm going to take another clean brush and with this I'm going to set the eyebrow on the white side. Hopefully I'm going to do this in layers just to make the eyebrow more opaque. If this doesn't work I will go in with a more thicker cream. For now I'm just going to test this theory. I'm going to put powder over the brow and then I'm going to go back in again with the white face paint and do another layer we'll start blocking out the eyebrow a little bit more i'm going to pat this on and go ahead and set that another time and do a second layer on the crease why not all over the lid because i really want this to be as opaque as i can get it and it doesn't matter if you get some on your eyelashes if anything, it actually adds to the look. Pat down with your finger. Just a little bit. 
So for foundation, I'm going ahead with another little crease brush. And I'm using a small crease brush for this and not a foundation brush because the area is smaller. So I'm going to take some foundation. The one I'm going to be using today is the All Nighter from Urban Decay. Apply it all on the inside here. And then taking the little brush, I'm going to go in and just slowly add that coverage. Go in really neat along the edges. So this will like mimic a mask. It's going to look really flawless on the inside. I'm taking the Stila Whitening Powder Foundation and this is just the refill. This, was, this one is in Angel Light Shade B. So I'm going to be using this one to set all of the inside of that. Now I'm using a darker powder simply because I really want the foundation side of the face to really stand out and I don't want it to be too pale in comparison with the white so I do want it to be a bit more tanned and really stand out and look absolutely flawless so I'm going in with this beautiful powder and setting everywhere okay so that part is done now we can move on to the eyes now you will get a little bit of fallout with this you want to be careful i'm going to go in with a really light hand and work in layers rather than putting on too much and having fallout all on the white and it's going to mess all the look up so in the crease i'm going in with transition and this one is the violet Ross holy grail palette so i'm putting transition into the crease Just a little bit. And I'm just going around, back and forth to buff that in. Next I'm taking Wine and Dine, that beautiful red colour. I'm going to take Wine and Dine and go into the crease again. Keep it rounded. And then smoke it up. I'm also going to take this underneath the lower lash line and connect it all together. And onto the crease, I'm taking Cranberry Splash, which is really, really beautiful. And then with a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to pack this all over the lid. Work in layers and the end result will look amazing. Going back into the crease again, I want to go for a dark colour just to add a bit more depth. So I'm going in with a teddy bear, which is dark brown. Teddy bear, I'm going to go into the inner crease just to add a bit more depth to the eye and it's not looking so flat. Also going to bring this to the lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of Cool Beans and I'm going to add this to the brow bone for a highlight. So on the makeup side I'm going to go ahead and fill in this one eyebrow and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Okay, so next is the lips, and I'm going to go ahead and use this because it's a darker tone and I think it's going to go really beautifully with the eye. And this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Trendsetter. I'm going to go ahead and use this glitter eyeshadow all over the lid. This is actually a Primark one. It's called the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in Silver. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. OK, 
Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna give myself a big wing. And then I'm gonna go back in with the white face paint again, and this time a bit of a bigger, fluffier brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint this ear, this ear, and my neck. Okay, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. So this is what we have so far. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and line the waterline using a black pencil, and then add a bit of mascara to the top and the lower lashes. And we'll be using the MAC False Lashes. So the next step, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Gel Liner in Snow. And this one is a really pigmented white gel liner. And I'm gonna put this on the waterline on this side to really knock out that skin tone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use a stipple sponge with the foundation on one edge and go all along the edge here just to add little dots. So I'm gonna put some foundation on the back of my hand and then taking the foundation with the stipple brush, I'm just going to like stipple this along the edge. Fingers crossed this actually works. did add a little bit of texture, a little bit of a blurring effect around the edge. Kind of stipple it out as if I've got a bit of splashback coming off the face. So I'm going to go with my teddy bear because it's quite chocolatey brown. I think that's going to look good. Again, adding that depth adds more realism to the look. That looks so cool. And I think this time I am going to go in with Are You Kidding Me? because I don't want it to go too dark in the inside. All along the edge of the inner. So add that depth. And really blend it. And this will make the inside just stand out a tiny bit more. Blending out, or should I say blending in. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is add some black face paint. And with this, I'm going to add the little lines. Holding the brush down and then taper into a thin line. So I'm gonna do a contour line with this. I'm also gonna trace along the jaw. jaw on the other side here. Next, before I pop in the eye contact on this side, I'm gonna put one eyelash on this side. So I'm taking the Primark Glam Lash Collection in Paris, and these are ones by Suzanne Jackson. So this is Paris from Primark. And the last and final step is to add a contact lens in this eye. Because my eyes are very dark brown, I want this to be completely blank canvas, and I haven't got any white Scalera lenses. So the ones I'm gonna be using are these white mesh contacts. These have a black rim around the edge, so I think this is gonna tie in beautifully with the sketch marks. These are from Pinky Paradise. And then that is the illusion right there, it's so cool. And this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this. This is so much fun to do. I've had a blast sitting down and playing with makeup and just drawing on my face. It's been so, so much fun. I love the illusion it gives, it's just so cool. All you need to do now is grab a prop and you can pose for a photo so it looks like a spray paint illusion. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.